Hello and welcome to my newest uh, Hearts of Iron 3 Their Finest Hour Let's Play. In this Let's Play we are going to play as Luxembourg. Yeah, I'm going to play as Luxembourg um, for a few reasons. The first one is that um, lots, of you, lots of you guys want to see me playing with Luxembourg. And um, actu Luxembourg actually won one, one of the votings. But um, because there, I, I, my video was confusing, I managed. I, I did another voting, and Communist China managed to win. So I think it's only fair that uh, I gave uh, Luxembourg a chance. The second one uh, is that uh, I always wanted to play with Luxembourg because, in my opinion, this is a a, a, a huge challenge, a very big challenge, because we are here, right here, stuck in the middle of the two two war giants, to um, uh, what I meant to say, two giants of World War II. So, um, <laughs> this, this is going to be very interesting, um, because um, this is probably one of those, um, the only country that I might, might lose for the AI, but we will see. Anyway, um, let's start this. By the way, if um, one of you, if you guys are wondering if I'm going to do, uh, play other games, the answer is yes. Um, but Hearts of Iron Tree is, um, it's at least for in the near future, will still be the major game in my channel. Um, it's, uh, Hearts of Iron Tree is the, in the, among the three top games that are my preferred top games. It's uh, in the top three. So uh, since you all, you guys are all, all here because of Hearts of Iron Tree. I will keep playing it, uh, but we will see. We will have uh, new games. Um, I will play other games. So um, let's start this. Um, really start it. As usual, I I start the let's plays by the um, problems, the weaknesses of uh, Luxembourg. I already started talking about this and uh, the major weakness of Luxembourg is being where it is. Luxembourg, uh, if I do, I don't do uh, nothing. If I, if I don't do, um, if I don't change its course, um, Germany will declare war on Luxembourg, and we are right here with no army uh, in the middle of Germany, um, near Germany and France, and uh, we are surrounded. Um, as we can see, we don't have, we don't have an army. We still we need to build an army that is strong enough to either to defend uh, from Germany or uh, to defend us from France and Belgium. So uh, so that that that's a very big challenge. Um, as you could see, um, I already replaced it um, the leader of this headquarter, um, Biologics Wizard, to save on supplies. Anyway, um, well, I'm very clumsy today because I'm, uh, as usual, uh, kind of tired, so I apologize. Um, like I was saying, so this is the major weakness, is the location of Luxembourg. We are in a very, very, very tough spot. Another major weakness is our manpower per month. This is quite bad. Uh, this is actually the, the, the first the country. Um, that has less manpower per month uh, from all that I played with. Uh, anyway, um, so th those are our, b our biggest problems. The IC uh, for a, a nation of the size of Luxembourg is quite good because we have twice the amount of IC that uh, than uh, than Albanian and most uh, micro all, uh, most and countries like uh, probably Liberia. They don't have IC, um, only five uh, that is off map, and probably much more than most of these countries here. And uh, some of these uh, small countries, so we have uh, quite a bit, uh, uh, we have twice the amount of IC, so that's good. Um, okay, so uh, uh, this is the, our biggest problem. Um, we cannot do much about this. We, we, we can only uh, increase uh, our tech, uh, agriculture, increase uh, that 10 per, ten percent per month, and uh, increase our loss. But uh, all in due time. 
So right now I'm going to fire the prepare for decision. This will reduce our neutrality by 60. Uh, your, by October we will have a less, less 60% of neutrality due to this. But we still need to reduce our neutrality quite a lot. Uh, this is, this is extremely important for uh, my plan to work. But there are a lot of other things that are extremely important. Um, and everything has to um, go uh, according to plan or we will fail. Since our uh, national unity... sorry, not, uh, not this... Since our national unity is quite good, we already um, have the minimum amount, minimum national unity required to enable all uh, best laws. Our national our spies will be doing this. Our internal spies. spies. As usual, I'm going to try to steal um, technology from France and from the UK. Like I said uh, um, um, earlier, um, we have to reduce this neutrality, reduce it. Right now we could um, send spies to one of our biggest neighbors, uh, Germany, which is from another... Uh, um, as a different uh, ideology. And our, our alignment uh, is also... What's wrong with me today? And our alignment is also uh, different. We are uh, on the Allies corner, so we can raise threat on Germany to decrease our neutrality. But I'm not going to do it, because Germany is very good at killing enemy spies. So uh, what I'm going to do instead is to align... Uh, Okay, not on a, not, this is not one of my days. What I'm going to do instead is to align as fast as I can to the axis. When we are on the opposite end of the corner of the alignment, we will be able to raise threats in uh, France to reduce our neutrality, even though we are democratic, uh, because we are we will be in the opposite end of the of this triangle. We can uh, increase threat in, on France uh, to reduce neutrality. So that's it for um, for um, spies. This for now. The laws. Well, the laws with uh, the min uh, laws and uh, our cabinet. We don't have, as you can see, we not, don't have uh, many um, options. This guy is actually the best guy that we can have. So that settles it. Uh, we want to get. We will. We we, have, we will need to keep voluntary army for a long time. For civilian economy, we have to get rid of this and we will be able to do it when our neutrality goes below um, 55. I'm going to change as usual with micro powers. My training was a minimal training. And uh, we cannot enact a better economic laws until we are at war. So, um, sorry, uh, industrial policy laws. So, um, I won't bother with that. So let's go to technology. Well, technology, uh, Luxembourg is not as bad as Albania, but it's pretty bad. We only have a few levels um, of uh, infantry doctrines, the first level. Everything else, or almost everything else, is uh, not researched, so we are, we are only slightly better than Albania, but uh, our situation is um, very bad. We're slightly better because we have that. Uh, that really matters, infantry doctrines, and we already have the infantry division uh, brigade unlocked. But uh, as you can see here, it's still uh, pre-1918. Uh, one thing that I forgot to say um, when I started this, and a very very important thing, is that I never played with Luxembourg before, uh, not a full campaign. I did, however, I played it uh, one hour at speed five to see if I could align as fast uh, fast to the to see um, if, actually to see if um, Great Britain the uh, UK would give me a, a break uh, to see if they did not influence me and they didn't influence me so we have a very good chance to align to Germany that was my, that's what I did that play, uh, one hour playthrough um, but I'm, f I'm, I'm happy that I did it because I noticed the bug so when I joined the um, the axis, I noticed it that my, our supply center moved from Luxembourg city, our only province and capital of Luxembourg, to 
to Berlin, so uh, I, after seeing that I reinstalled, I, I uninstalled my game, reinstalled it again, even though I had the, the right checksum, I reinstalled it again, did another playthrough uh, to, to check if the if this would uh, happen again, and it did, so... Um, so that's a bug in my opinion, because Luxembourg is treated if it was a puppet of Germany and that's game over for Luxembourg because even I, I can only have my, my troops can only be supplied if I put all my IC into supply production so that's a, a game over for uh, Luxembourg so uh, before quitting on Luxembourg, which would be a shame, a shame um, I, s I tried to see if I could fix it and um, I noticed it if I capture a province like this one here from Belgium and then uh, join the Axis I would keep my supply center at Luxembourg City so why I'm saying this? I'm saying this because this the, it's, it's, only, it's already very hard to defend Luxembourg City uh, from the, the Allies because yeah I'm going to join the Axis but defending our only uh, our um, Luxembourg uh, our, our only VB and trying to capture um, another province when we are completely surrounded by the Allies from well, from one two three four five provinces uh, it's very tough and that affects like uh, what we are going to research because my uh, initial strategy was to um, improve our improve our uh, industry because we are going to need it uh, to expand very fast, as fast as possible but this is not feasible because um, while we are uh, moving from one corner of the alignment uh, of this triangle to the other we won't be able to buy um, uh, weapons from any of the major powers so we will have to build our own weapons so and our technology is, is uh, absolutely dreadful and we so our weapons have to be up to date or as as close as uh, up to date as possible because we um, we will need our own weapons uh, uh, we need we need to build uh, a few weapons uh, and uh, anyone uh, any weapon that we now buy from the UK because I'm going to buy from the UK a few uh, artillery brigades at least will be obsolete in 1940 so we have to improve our technologies. Since we don't have enough leadership uh, to research the, what needs to be researched, we, at the very least we need to research agriculture, industrial production and industrial efficiency and supply production, and then uh, the other techs. But we don't have leaderships over that, so I'm going to focus uh, my research on our uh, biggest issue, which is agriculture, uh, lack of manpower, and I'm going to uh, research the most important text, starting by the most important text and then the other ones. And only then we will be, we'll research these. In due time, when our weapons are up to date, we will research the doctrines, but that doesn't have a priority. The priority is to the weapons, to the components of, uh, of our um, infantry weapon, um, arm armament and uh, artillery. We are also going to need um, operation level organization, so this will also have priority. But in due time, in the meantime, because we are we are going to do a lot of uh, diplomatic um, early on, we are going to um, um, use diplomacy a lot, so we need lots of diplomatic points. So I hope I didn't forget to say anything, since we don't have. Um, Anything else to build at the moment? We are going to put everything into supplies. I'm going to build the artillery first, but I'm going to need, I need money for that uh, to buy from the UK. I'm going to align straight away to Germany. Cannot waste time. I'm also uh, going to improve my relation, relations with them. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, hit, um, to achieve a 200 relations because that will make me uh, align faster to the to the to Germany and that has, has a very big implication for us 
because we are going to need the, at least the infantry brigades from Germany. At least. Um, at the very least we need the infantry brigades from Germany, but we also need to be near their corner to be able to disarm neutrality. So we, we um, need to um, increase our relations for that, as we can see here. Uh, we can align them due to faster due to several reasons, due to relations with the faction member. That's that's um, how it works. But trade is very important for that, due to the proximity of a faction member and um, to the diplomatic influence. Right now we are being influenced and um, we need to improve our relations. Uh, because I need money and um, I need to sell fuel to get money. Since I cannot trade with the um, allies, I cannot. Tr um, tr I won't sell them anything. I won't buy anything from them. So um, I'm going to try to sell uh, fuel to Italy, probably. But uh, at the moment, they don't want to buy it, and they don't have um, enough um, diplomacy points. So I think it's all. Check. Okay, looks good. So let's start this. Uh, this will be quite uh, slow. Uh, in the first uh, month or so, because um, because of the diplomacy that I have to do. Okay. So let's see if uh, Italy wants to buy fuel. We will eventually run out of fuel uh, when our crude oil is uh, over, which is zero, but uh, we, I need the money now, uh, so instead of selling one fuel, I'm going to sell two. This money is very important early on. Please don't say no. Thank you. Okay, let's pick this up. You already have the diplomacy points to do another deal. So even though I don't have IC, I think I need to sell supplies to the Soviet Union, Union as much as they want to buy. Let's hope they accept it because we really need the money. Because we have, oh, we also have a problem with rares. By the way, I uh, forgot to say this, but uh, we have a very good amount of uh, metal here that we can sell uh, if we need to, and. Uh, we also have energy, but we have we don't have rares, and with with the I see that we have now, and uh, we I see that hopefully we will be able to gain. Um, um, we need rares, so that's why I'm selling uh, supplies to the Soviet Union because I want to buy rares from them. Still don't have money for anything, so money will start coming in. Let's speed up. Speed this up. Right, let me see if we can buy artillery from the UK. This anti tanks. No, thank you. Right now, I want artillery. Okay, just hope they don't say no. Right, so let's build artillery. Yeah. Well, let's go. I think I, I sold uh, too much to at this point. I don't have IC for that. See the picture uh, with only this. So let's go. We need to trade with Germany. We can do that uh, in a couple of days.
probably going to this is not done okay this is the most that we can um, uh, spend in uh, supplies we can spend more than that we are still using supplies so we are probably going to cancel this deal should have done uh, half of that Okay, I'm gonna waste time with the ship. I'm gonna cancel these. Can I afford to spend to sell so much of our IC? Basically that's what we are doing. So let's go. Okay, I think I already have enough um, diplomatic points, at least for a while. I'm gonna put everything into spies now. Notice that our time is up, I'm gonna play a few minutes more. Let's try to buy more artillery from the UK. You want to sell me a lemon? That's it. And I say very likely immediately. I always get suspicious. Thirty-four. I also need to to switch my training laws, but um, I really need artillery because. Uh, might, we might not be able to buy it uh, in a few days. So the Spanish Civil War started this time very very early. Okay, great. So we have uh, like 10 here. Yeah, that's awesome. We need 20. And can we trade with these guys? Uh, 15. Jeremy 15. 17. So let's speed this up. And uh, until we decided to intervene. Okay, let's check our current alignment. So we are drifting uh, with a value of 6.26 and uh, 0.3 is due to relations. Let's see what happens after we do this, another trade with Germany. Probably that will double. Okay, we accepted it. So let's check our alignment. So we are now drifting that um, with um, that effectively double um, our alignment um, due to uh, due to relations. So each trade will um, improve our um, drifting speed to Germany with the axis. So we now need to buy um, rares for 1.823 money. So let's see if they are willing to sell it. This is not enough, but um, I don't have IC to sell supplies any other way. To sell more supplies. So they accepted, which is great. So we are trading IC for rares. The second. Let's up. I'm not gonna change my laws yet. I want more artillery. Because like I said before, the, in a few weeks or so, we won't be able to buy anything, so we better buy it as soon as possible. 
No, wait just a while longer, a little while longer. Damn, we have to buy it now. I, I didn't want uh, to waste uh, one point of uh, diplomatic influence if I could buy them um, all at the same time. But we have to do it like this. Okay, this is great, so I will end the episode here because we are uh, very, um, we have reached the time uh, limit for this episode. So I hope you have enjoyed this and um, thank you for watching.